Yo, beautiful humans. Today's conversation with the Jersey Trio is sponsored by Native. I wear Native. I love Native. In addition to deodorant, has like shampoo, soap. They have toothpaste, and they're pretty dope. They use ingredients that we all know and understand. Plus, we're talking about amazing scents right here. We got coconut and vanilla. Nice combination, good balance. Makes me feel good, absorbs my my sweat, because it works, by the way. So it not only smells good, but it works. Oh, and they have hella reviews. 9,000 five-star reviews on Native products, plus, you can buy Native at no risk to you. No risk. We're talking about free shipping and then free returns if you don't like it. If you want 20% off your first purchase with Native, all you got to do is use my name, Zach. Z-A-C-H. There's going to be a link in the description below. Look at this. Okay, let's do a roll call here. Alejandro, hello. What's up? Kyrie, hello. <laughs> uh, and then we have... a. Uh, can, I, can you say your name so I don't mess it up, man? Yeah. Mattia? Mattia, yeah. Uh, yeah, I could do that. That's freaking easy. Right. By the way, <laughs> I was watching Alejandro's YouTube channel today, and it was a video of... Uh, who was in it? I think it was at least two of you making a mess being hooligans in my hometown mall. <laughs> no, no, Willowbrook. <laughs> yeah, Willowbrook Mall. I know it. That's my hometown mall. <laughs> I know that Forever 21. I know that food court that you were causing a ruckus in. I know the hot topic that you were screaming in front of all of you. Uh, content. My bad. Well, well, okay. So let's be honest, right? Like, it's now content, but it wasn't always content before, right? Because the truth is, like, you would just do that and mess around for fun. At what point, like, who says, like, hey, maybe we should film this? How does that start? Because your first TikTok was posted in 2019, right? October. Mine. Well, well, I think uh, I, Alejandro is definitely. Um, but did you guys all start around the same time? I, I just was making videos in 2018, but like it was just for fun, like just to send to my friends. But it was never serious <laughs> on TikTok until 2019. Who has the concept of like filming things and then posting it then? Like filming the fact that you're going to the the mall and making a, a ruckus. So basically, we we just like planned to go to the mall that day and like with a couple of friends, and we just like like planned to just like chill there. But then, um, one of our friends bought like a camera, and we were like, oh, maybe we should make a YouTube video because like I we haven't like posted, and then like, you know yeah I don't know we just started filming. But okay, but like even the concept of like TikTok, right? Like who introduces you guys to the app? So, Matia has, like, been doing TikTok. Like, we all we all had it at one point in, like, October. And, but, like, Matia was the one that, like, kept going because, like, me and Kyrie, Kyrie's like, stopped. Mm -hmm. And then in the summer, Matia just was like, yeah, let's make a video. And then we all did it. And that's, like, what started, like, us, like, starting to do it, like, for real. So, are you all friends? We all live in, like, the same area. Like, we all go to the same high school. So, like, we're all close friends. So at what point at what point do you see the TikTok like taking off and the numbers growing? Uh, numbers uh, they started in the summer when we started making group videos and everyone was like tagging on to it. So I was like, all right, let's keep on going, going. And then as time went on, the numbers started growing, and then all our followers individually were growing, and everyone saw us as like the trio of New Jersey on TikTok. Are you the biggest TikTokers from New Jersey? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Is Joe Albany's from New Jersey. I know. No, New York. Isn't there a kid from Montclair that's, like, bigger than all of us, though? No. He's yeah, that big. guy. He's big, but I don't know how, I don't know where he's at. Alejandro is convinced that you guys are the biggest. <laughs> and I like the confidence. Good for you. <laughs> um, I think we're the biggest. There could be. Yeah, we're, we're, we're the biggest. Uh, he's at he's at 3.1. Oh, you guys are way right. bigger. Yeah we're, yeah, we're chilling up there. Yeah, you, you each have, like, millions of followers each. I was watching mm -hmm. your videos, Alejandro. I, I, I've watched your lip syncs and your shirtless dances <laughs> and your your challenges. Yeah. But would you thank Mattia for, I mean, kind of introducing you to this entire thing? Right? Yeah. Like, would you have done this if he didn't push you? No. I mean, are you grateful? It's been only a couple of years, so I know it all comes really fast. But even in the mall video, you guys are getting recognized. Yeah. The mall video. <laughs> 
<laughs> is, it, is it weird going out to the mall and going in public, places you used to be able to go by yourself, and now you just get mobbed by all these fans? Yeah. Cause I'm just in the beginning, to, like, it was like, it was, it was the weirdest. As time went on, we got used to it, but it was, it was still weird in the beginning. Do you feel like you have to, like, be careful of where you go now, or do you not mind it? You would just I mean, go wherever you want. Go at, when I, wherever. If they, yeah, if see, yeah. Yes, but we just still go to the same places that we did before we started. <laughs> yeah, but now you film it, and then it becomes content. So how often are you shooting? Like, how many TikToks do you guys make in a day? Because that's the one trend I've realized is that you post many times. Uh, well, like, during quarantine, I've tried to, like, post at least two or more a day. I've been, I think I've been posting the least. I don't know. It's just that... Like if it comes up to me, I just record it right away. But like if nothing comes up, then I just, I just I can go like a couple of days without posting. But like I don't know, like I said schedule like a couple of days I don't post, and then like one day I can post like five. You guys have so. different content though. You all like let's let's go down the line. What what would you say your TikTok niche is, Alejandro? What do you do the best on TikTok? Um, well, like I do like 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 dances that are trends, or I'll do like POVs, like point of views. Um, I just like film stuff with like my family. Do the dances come easy? Yeah, some of them. Some of them you have to stand in front of the camera for like hella minutes. Hours. Hella minutes. <laughs> <laughs> not hours, not days, a minute. Just, I don't know. Some some of them are hard as hell, but like some of them are just. They just come to you. What was the hardest dance? Uh, Renegade. Yeah. <laughs> that took us forever. I was embarrassed <laughs> in the beginning. You should see Alejandro's first video when he did it. Like an idiot. <laughs> Matia, what is your specialty? What is your, what is your forte on TikTok? Either POVs or the dances where you have to move your hips. Those do good, usually. <laughs> why, usually do you, they do. why do you think those perform well? I mean, people say my POVs are good, I guess. So maybe those. And then the dances, just that, like everyone, there's a trend like now. So There's a reason why the hip ones do better than the other ones now because they're trending Got it. i feel Got like it. i feel like that dance is incorporated in every single dance now yeah every dance has a hip movement in it yeah, who, who makes these dances like is there <laughs> one dance god that everybody looks to to produce the moves or is there's it a couple, there's like there's a a couple. Body of people that like make dances is it like an <laughs> illuminati like a very small group and they now meet over zoom I have no idea. Mattia, can you explain the toilet licking thing to me? That was, okay. You want me to say, like, how, like, how the first video started? Wait, you licked yeah, the because toilet? Qu no, I didn't lick it. I just put my, my face in here and stick my tongue out. I didn't lick it. Okay. Well, if so, you go on Urban Dictionary and you type in your name, it says TikTok guy who got famous for licking his toilet and his hot friend group. <laughs> what? <laughs> Definitions or is that the only one? Uh, that's the top definition if you type in your name. <laughs> All right, um, so... You're doing New start, Jersey proud. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, it started, like, it was one day, I think it was in September, October. It was, like, one or... It was, like, it was late at night. It was, like, in the a.m. And then I just spammed my content with, like, ten videos that one night of just me goofing around and, like, just lip syncing to songs. And, like, a couple of them were right by my toilet, so... Out of, all, out of that whole spam, those were the ones that got the most likes, so I kept on doing it and doing it, and then, like, that was, like, a... People saw me as the toilet licker, like, in my <laughs> and it kept on getting likes. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna keep on doing it. And I would do it to like, multiple sounds. Do you not make any toilet licking content anymore? I haven't made one in a while. Usually, when I hit like, like either when I hit two million, three million, or four million, I usually do one of those because like that's where it started off. But like, I haven't done like a basic one since like October or November. So would you thank the toilet licking fiasco? Yeah. <laughs> so would. Without that, I wouldn't have the followers I have now. Wow, you wouldn't I, be here. The other guys wouldn't be here. We wouldn't even be ha having this conversation right now if you <laughs> didn't fake lick a toilet. Nope. Isn't it crazy that some people go to college for years and years, spend t spend a ton of money, try to get successful, and all you do is lick a toilet? That's how it is now, I guess. It's <laughs> So, you can do anything and then it'll blow up. Can we so, well, oh, well yeah, I just yeah. want to ask, apart from like that, like I know that's why you guys got this big following in the first place, but why do you think so many people follow you guys? Like, what is it about you guys that people like? I think just the fact that we're a group, because you don't find like a lot of groups on there like that come up as a group together. And plus, like, we've been for a friend group before TikTok, and most of the groups now like formed while doing TikTok, so they see like a genuine friend <laughs> and that's what they like about us. It's like, before it started so we're just 
closer than with that. So are you saying like compared to like you say you, you have the hype house or the soy house, those guys all met through TikTok. You guys were all friends before it happened. And then we were together as a, and we made a platform. So that's what people like us because you know, they see how close we are and it's great. Let's talk about that genuine friendship because sometimes when you have a genuine relationship with people, it's it's hard to hide things because you're so comfortable, you're so honest, you're so true with each other. Um, there is some stuff on the internet right now talking about you and Alejandro being in a fight. I don't know if you keep up with the uh, TikTok drama, but it does exist. It is out there. And I watched the whole video today on why the internet thinks that you guys could be fighting right now. And I just wanted to get some, I don't know, firsthand feedback on, is there even a fight? Uh, it's, 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 it's slimming down. Nah, it wasn't as big as before, but, you know, every friendship, every friendship has fights. It's, just like, it's, it's made into a big deal because of social media. Well, every, okay, I'm going to correct you there. Everybody has fights, but, like, fights are... The, the, the waters are a little bit more rough because you guys are on this journey together, right? You have business now mixed with friendship. There's fame involved. A lot of elements to life are changing. So not only are you guys normal high schoolers, and when you have friends from high school, you know, most of the time you go your separate ways because you evolve as people. You're evolving a little bit faster. Business is in the mix. Fame is in the mix. So your friendship is being tested. Is that a fair thing to say? Yeah. I think it's fair to say, yeah. Basically summed it up everything. The argument you said is over, but it was legitimate. Yeah, but like, I think as high school friends, we all get into like little arguments. Happens. And it's just usually settled like within days. But, like when like I said before, since it's on social media, it's it's, it's big. It hey, really is. Alejandra. What? Yeah. What do you think? It. I mean, yeah, it's just it's just like a little argument. Kyrie, how do you feel about all this from from being the guy not involved? I, I low key just like sat there, just like watched it all happen. I didn't like really do anything, but um, I they shouldn't be fighting. I think it was stupid. And, Pointless, but like you know, they have their own thoughts about it. Have so. we apologized? Have we grilled whatever beef this is, Alejandro? Yeah. Guys, what was this fight over? What's going on here? <laughs> it was just something that I saw and I didn't like, and then that's it. I just wanted okay. to change in something, and then I saw a change, and then we're, we're fine now. What was that, Alejandro? You have <laughs> to say something. You want to say something? I'm not saying. I don't, I don't know. There's nothing to say. It's just, <laughs> I feel like we might make this argument worse by trying <laughs> at it right now. <laughs> when was the last time you guys hung out in person? Has it been a while? Yeah. Um, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks. Is that healthy or is that hard? hard. I mean, we still are in contact, just that, like, it's better to hang out. But, like, we talk through, through Xbox, FaceTime. Are we more inspired as solo performers? Like, have we been inspired during this quarantine to create solo content? I think I have. I mean, yeah, because, like, like it's, you have to. Kind of yeah. Good. I, I don't know. I've been, I'm like the least amount of followers out of them. So like, I just use this as like a way to grow myself and my content, I guess. I loved your I video with, I, I think it, was it with your sister and your mom? Oh yeah. <laughs> Great content. I'm a big fan. Yeah. I was drowning. Wait, what'd you do? I did. I could copied you, but like, instead of like powder, I used water and my mom just kept like shoving me down. I have a question guys. Can you explain lollipop boys to me? <laughs> What is that about? I think our first video was like our first video that we ever blew up on was like the reason why we all started was because of this video, and it was on Matias' account, and he had the idea of like all of us like licking a lollipop together. So like and, one uh, puts in his mouth, <laughs> next person, next person, next person. It was well, just like, us, a school friend. Yeah, it was an adventure. That's how you but, get mono, guys. We didn't get mono. Oh, we didn't get mono. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are that was like half the comments. <laughs> Everything it, and like on that, like it went to Instagram. Like a bunch of like pages posted that that one video, and the just the comments were brutal. What? <laughs> but not in a good way. I mean, some I mean some people found it. I don't know, but most of them were like, "What are these guys doing?" I, I'm really surprised in a sense that you took all of that as motivation to keep moving and to create different types of content, right? Like because a lot of people could have collapsed when they saw negative comments about licking a toilet or sharing a lollipop with their friends well, why'd you keep going i feel like we just looked on the bright side because like yeah half the comments on the video were like about mono and like what are these guys doing but like the other half were like like support 
like new supporters that like we never like experienced that. Why do you think they but, support you? What is it about you, Alejandro, that they gravitate to? Why do you think they follow you? <laughs> uh, well, in that video, I don't know. I guess because we were in so my yeah my looks. looks. What is it about licking things that gets the internet riled up? If they like something, then I just continue to do it. <laughs> yeah, King Licker. Yeah. But, but I'm just trying to figure out why the internet's into it, you know? What's the weirdest thing that's come across your DMs? Some weird things. Weird things. Very inappropriate things. Oh, so you guys are getting a lot of girls going into your DMs, yeah. is what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You guys just did it in a very cool way. <laughs> How old are you guys? 17. I'm 16. I turn 17 next month. Oh, my God. Babies. Yeah. Wow, and you're... So you guys are still in school right now, then? Yeah, yeah we're seniors. Okay, so you guys are doing, like, online schooling? Yeah. Are you doing online schooling because of corona or because you got famous? Corona. Corona. We still do public school. We go to public school. What is it like walking the halls knowing that you have a few million followers on TikTok? To be honest, like, normal. Because... the beginning, it was, it was weird because like, everyone talks about it, but now it's normal. Nobody looks at you, nobody wants to become friends with you because maybe they want to be on TikTok too? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that, yeah. but like, we don't really like, pay attention. Yeah, it's just that people like, people see an opportunity that you have followers and they want to hang out with you. I feel like it's like more negative though. I feel like people try to like, get yeah. like, uh, from us like, in a negative way. Just want to benefit themselves usually. Yeah. Is there any room for more TikTok stars? In our group? In our... I mean, in the world. Oh, well, yeah. We don't. Yeah. Have we uh, maxed out on the amount of, I don't know, TikTok personalities that can rise and have millions of followers? I don't think it's done. I mean, any, anyone can blow up. You just have to do something specific. Where do you want right. to take this? Where do you want to go? Is it YouTube? Oh, yeah, that's a start. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Logging ahead on YouTube. Content is like, I just think of a couple ideas and I put a poll on Twitter and whatever the, is picked the most, I do the video on. So I do like fan pick content or whatever. The, the supporters like. Okay. Sorry, Dan. Why? Why is there so much controversy? I can't even say the word controversy surrounding you guys online. I don't know. I feel like you just get dragged into a lot of stuff. like some, some stuff that we're like in is like kind of like unnecessary. Like we're not trying to be involved, but we like get to it. Like what specifically? Because you know, there's like obviously videos out there of you guys doing things. Like you're not being dragged into that. That's technically you guys. Oh, uh, well, how you. are you talking about? Well, there are some videos out there of them saying some questionable things that they've apologized for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I apologize. Sorry. I, I've made it. I think made it a lot of uh, apologizing. But um, but like, besides that, like stuff that like, was like intentional, I guess. Well, not intentional, but like, we've done. I don't know. I feel like there's like things that we get like, into. We have like no bits at all. Like. Like, like nothing. I won't just like get dragged into it for no reason. Oh, interesting, guys. We finally get to the controversial stuff, and somebody's microphone goes out. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Dan. What were we saying? I'm very sorry about that. Well, no. There's just a lot of controversy on the internet of stuff they've said and they've apologized. But you know, that's, we were just kind of talking about that. Have you guys kind of learned that like you need to be very careful? You you need to you, you got to say the right things. You can't be saying dumb shit anymore. Yeah. 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 Hey, we can't have the like basic teenage boy image anymore like we have to watch what we say because like we're like influencers and like people look up to us so like you know we can't can't say stuff for it that people will not to is that a reality that you want and did you know that that was going to be a reality before you posted that first tiktok no, no. we didn't expect to blow up from our first tiktok like we just we didn't, like we didn't come to tiktok thing and like oh we're gonna try to blow up it was just like in, unintentional so we didn't expect everything that's happening now to happen. It's obviously like we learned our lessons. We had a good result in the end. Was there any thought before committing to doing this full time, like as an actual job, and becoming quote unquote influencers? Once we actually got like we realized that we could actually do it, that's when we started. But in the beginning, no, we just like kept rolling with it, just doing it whenever. But after like we realized like oh maybe we can make something out of this. That's when we like started. Like, when did you realize it? What was the moment? Like, what happened that you were like, "Oh, we can make money. We can make this into a business and a life and a career." Uh, well, for me, it was probably like when I started getting like emails about people like wanting to do like deals with me. Brand deals. Like, 
Yeah. How about for you, Mattia? This is like messages from like people that are in the in the industry already saying like like in October I used to get messages saying like you're gonna be the next big thing and I didn't I'm, like I didn't understand that. And like even when we got noticed, like we thought like, oh, maybe we could do something with this. Because like we never got noticed in the public until now. Wait, you guys can hear that again, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to <laughs> That is somebody's I microphone. Feel like it's consistently <laughs> getting not, louder no. too. Look at me. Oh, it's Mitya. It's Mitya. You knew. Why? Why? Is that what you guys have been doing while in quarantine? Is playing like a lot of video games? Yeah. Yeah, we've been streaming. Oh, okay. Do you guys yeah. do like Twitch and stuff like that? Like you guys actually like uh, mi go on. It was Mixer.com. Yes, we've been. Okay. Doing Mixer is that like the cool new place? Is that cooler than Twitch? Do I need to be on it? Teach me. Well, I mean, it's just like the default streaming web website on Xbox, so we just use that. Uh, we just like, what do you put, GTA, FIFA sometimes, Fortnite. What is the next dance that everybody needs to learn? Yeah, bro, teach us Alejandro. Dan needs to be a dancer. I'm too old. It's <laughs> always a new dance, like every other week. It's not like a, it's not, there's not, I don't think there's any more big dances coming, like uh like the renegade. How about a trend? New challenge? The uh, show your cultures off one. The. Uh, like, kind of I mean, it has all. That's like a millions of views already. Millions of videos already. Yeah. It has 13.4 million videos. Yeah, so it's probably that. What do you do there, Dan? You look so confused. It's like you just shake your hips, like every other dance. <laughs> every dance like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I've. It seems like every TikTok dance is like the same dance moves in a different order. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why I need to track down the TikTok dance Illuminati. Well, guys, I want to know, like, what's next? Are you going to college? Are you going to move to Los Angeles? I don't know, what, I don't know what anything yet. I mean, I want to hope for the best. But as of right now, I'm just going to keep on trying to do what I'm doing now. It's the same for them, too. When do you graduate? How many years? 21. Oh, so, like, yeah, it's pretty soon. So ha yeah. do you have goals? social media wise over the next like year or two yeah just throw as much as possible and see whatever it takes us i'm curious guys because i didn't see anything about relationships online um, and i'm sure all of the girls want to know what's going on well, there alejandro did you break up with katie <laughs> yeah or did she break up with you no i i ended things uh, well i heard you wouldn't even talk to her that's what i saw in this video there wasn't even a conversation nah, nah that's not true I Did you ghost your girlfriend? No, I, she wasn't my girlfriend. And like we were talking. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we need and then these, you ghosted her. We, we need these deep labels to make it real. Um, yeah, no, we were just talking. And uh... <laughs> okay, so you're basically back on the market, is what you're saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and everybody else? Yeah, I'm on the market. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I know this is always I'm, a popular question. Would you guys date a fan? No. Uh, no. I answered that in my YouTube video. Uh, that's going to go up, but no, I wouldn't. Why? Because, like, I don't, I don't know. know. I someone to like me. Like, I don't want someone to have feelings for me before I even know them. I understand that. And, you, you know, you don't want them to be clouded by videos of you licking a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could affect <laughs> the way they see you in a romantic sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Matia, how'd you get the, uh, the the title CEO of Horny? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was live with Alejandro, and I wasn't really paying attention to the live, and I said that I was that word, and then everyone, someone reposted on TikTok, and it got like 100,000 likes, so I was like, you know, I'm just on my Twitter. Uh, so it became the Twitter bio. Yeah. Have you, do you feel like you have to live up to that title now that you've, bes you've almost bestowed it upon yourself? I mean, I'll d privately, I'll, I'll, I'll stick to the title. But... <laughs> Are you guys scared that everything that you post will live on forever, whether you like it or not? Um, depends. Yeah. It, it, by the way, it is. I'm afraid of that. It, it totally will live on forever. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you look up our names, like, in a couple years, <laughs> this will come up. What was that, Kyrie? Um, it's going to be awkward. Like, if I'm going to get a job, and they just look me up, just like, boom. <laughs> See me licking a lollipop when I was 16. <laughs>
Yeah, but you were a part of culture. You were you were part of something bigger. I mean, is there a, is there a place in everybody's brain of like having a normal job still one day, or is this it? I mean, if anything happens, I want. I already know what my plan is. What's the backup? I want to I want to get involved in uh, something in sports, maybe like physical therapy or something like that. Because I always wanted to stay into sports. That's what my job, my idea of a job was before everything happened. So, Kyrie, how about you? Um, I don't really know, but like I had like interest in architecture. But is there a want to make this like a real full time career? Yeah, I think that's for all of us. Alejandro. Uh, well, to be honest, like I've always wanted to go to college, but. I would, either way, every time like I think of like what I want to do, my mind is just blank. Like I have no idea what I want to do if I go to college. Like I don't know what I'd major in. So honestly, um, after doing this, like I've like liked what I've done, and if if like it would be possible, like I'd like to move into like bigger things, like probably like modeling or like acting. Mm. Honestly, like obviously, yeah, I want to go to college and like I want to get a degree, but like. I don't know. I mean, like what? <laughs> so in TikToks, in a uh, smiling, and then your eyes shut. I saw that TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dan, don't you wish you could be a TikTok star? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Why? I don't think that. I don't think that's the life for me. Maybe when I was their age, but I'm old now. I don't think I could do it. Dan's washed up. I'm so washed up. I just want to know, how do you guys deal with, like, internet hate? Because I know that Mattia was over party was trending the other day, and I'm sure you guys get a lot of negative comments like we talked about. How do you deal with it all? Why? Why was the why were people canceling you the other day? No, they just brought up back to stuff that I did before. Like, I didn't even do anything bad recently, and they just brought everything back to what happened before. And then just said Mattia's over party. It's all the, the Nicki Minaj fans that didn't like me. Did you insult Nicki Minaj? No. Why am I so oblivious to whatever happened? I obviously need to Google a little bit deeper. Um, but yeah, Dan, some bad, some bad things were said, but we're gonna learn from it, and it's not gonna happen again. Yes. Period. By the way, I feel like an uninformed idiot, and you should all be very happy that I'm unaware of what was said, because your time here would probably be more difficult. Um, no, I, wouldn't he'd be afraid to say anything? That is so <laughs> not accurate and so <laughs> untrue. But anyway, um, that being said, Dan's question is still valid in how do you deal with that? When you see that when you see that there, there are people on Twitter throwing a party, essentially celebrating your demise, how does that sit with you? I try to just ignore it as much as I can and like not feed into it and like not let it get to me. But it just usually dies down within a couple of things. Like no one's, just, no one's talking about that that. Actually, more. So I just, I just let it die, and not, not think about it. So if I think about it, then it's gonna make me want to quit, and that's not what I do. So, it's not let it get to me. And, and keep going. I give you a lot of credit. You know, at least to keep Thank moving. You. Um, okay, Rick Dog, what are you thinking? So I want to know. You guys are supposed to go on the Boys of Summer tour, right? Mm -hmm. Is that still happening? I mean, as of now, yeah. Yeah. Still gonna go on. And that's where you guys all kind of get together and you have like a little meet and greet, right? With your fans? Yeah. yeah. So travel state to state and have meet and greets all of it. Okay, cool. What state are you guys excited to go to? Do you have like one specific place that you have the most fans? I don't really know. I mean, yeah. I'm just excited just to go everywhere, yeah. I guess. Yeah, like to travel the country. Yeah. Just Wait, seeing everywhere be, is like cool from every state. Yeah. I don't think there's like a specific one. Uh, the one other question I had is, can you guys explain these videos where you, like, kiss each other? What? <laughs> I don't know. I just typed your name. There's, like, videos of you guys, like, kissing each other, almost kissing each other. Chicken. Chicken. Chicken? Chicken. Chicken. Oh, it's like, who can get the closest before pulling away? Yeah. yeah. Man, if you lose, you're a chicken. <laughs> well, Mati and Kyrie, I'm looking at a video right oh. now where <laughs> seem to connect. I wasn't going in. I swear to God, I would have backed out. Like I would have taken it out. Like I do not care. But like my friend pushed my head. I just don't lose. 
<laughs> I beat you every time. You're lying. I've never lost a game of chicken. Look, that's, that's a lie. That's not a lie. It is. You know me. I don't lose games of chicken. The whole group knows me. Ollie, who wins the most? I don't know. I've never lost either. I never lost. That's Cal. Ollie's definitely lost. I never lost. No. We don't lose. Not- <laughs> Robert's the worst. Robert. Robert. Robert Guys, so- if, if nobody loses, that means you have to kiss every time, right? <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like we like each other. No, I'm not saying that, but I'm yeah, saying no. people are playing chicken. Happy to happen. Who cares? <laughs> Love is love is love is love is love. Jersey Trio, making New Jersey proud in every way. I thank you for your time and energy today. Appreciate you. <laughs> Kyrie, you're a good man. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks. Tell your mom Thanks. I say hi. She's very cool. Hi. The star of your TikToks. No offense to you. Uh, I know. <laughs> Alejandro, cool rope lights. Um, Thanks. You know, it's very, uh, it's, it's, it's a good ambiance, good mystery. And Matea, uh, Matea, I'm sorry, yeah. an honor. Yeah. Where are you all in New Jersey? Where, where? Uh, are you I'm from. Gonna... You're so close to me. I'm so jealous of your existence. All, yeah. Little Falls, Woodland Park, and Totowa. We're in all around. Way New Jersey. Well, I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you for hanging out, Dan. Final thoughts? You got it. Yes, on. I think we covered it all. Anything else you guys want to say or no? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, it. I'm good okay. nice meeting you guys an honor <laughs> hopefully next time in person guys thank you so much yeah. thank, thank you, you. Bye. hey beautiful human thanks for watching our full interview but I get it like a full interview is a lot so we got a clips channel we don't expect you to watch the full thing anymore so we just gave you the highlights please subscribe and uh notifications And all that stuff. Okay, cool. I love you.